Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wack Crendor and welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Crendor. And today, I am joined by Commander Holly, or just Holly. Hello, how's it going? Yeah, I'm bo both are fine. I just <laughs> caught some driftwood, if anyone cares. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> now you're at the some, true fishing experience. Some fine driftwood. <laughs> um, so, for everybody who's listening that doesn't know who you are, why don't you go ahead and just tell everybody who you are. All right. Uh, yeah, my name is Holly. Also go by Commander Holly. Um, I do YouTube and Twitch and all of that nonsense. Uh, mostly I play d and I do a bunch of d and shows where I play uh, Trash Witch in one and I DM another. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's my character. Kind of, I kind of took her Trash Witch aesthetic and made a transmog. That's why she looks like, looks like a little witch. <laughs> um, but yeah, I also do art and uh, I make stuff for fun, like costumes and props. And uh, yeah, I also love birds. I have 48 rescue pigeons. And, so uh, many birds. Uh, I have, yeah, <laughs> and, and two cockatiels and I have a lot of animals. So that's, that's I rescue birds and I am a trash witch and that's me. Hello. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of curious, how did you just... I'm going to jump right into it. How did you get so into the birds? Like, were you really little and you saw birds and you're like, I love birds. Yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I was like, I still have books from like my middle school teachers being like, I hope you like rescue all the birds one day, Holly. Like from when I was like, <laughs> like eight, <laughs> like I've just always, I've just always liked birds. And I think it's cause I liked like the idea of flying as a kid. Oh. And I think it just kind of like, um, like if I think about it, because I really like Peter Pan, and I was like, oh, I want to be Peter Pan. Like, I want to be a pterodactyl. I want to fly. And then I was like, <laughs> I like birds. So that makes I sense. Guess, yeah, I guess that's where it came from. And then I, you know, it kind of went into, I wanted to be an ornithologist and do all this like conservation stuff. And then I was like, I'm really bad at math. So I'm just going to like <laughs> volunteer at places and clean bird cages. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just started rescuing birds. So. Is an ornithologist like a bird? Uh, per like, what is an ornithologist? Because I don't know. Yeah, they're just a, they're the the study of birds. Oh, okay. It's just the actual study of birds, and like them, there are way more competent people that I'm sure do that than me. So I'm <laughs> glad that I didn't do that, and instead just I raise awareness for kindness and birds. <laughs> how did so? How like when did you adopt your first bird? Then was that like when you were a kid still, or was it like when you got old enough and you're like, finally, I can adopt a bird? No, yeah, I was a kid. I was like, and I think I mean I was like ten years old, and uh, I got I, we went to like a bird farm, which like I didn't know existed. A bird farm. <laughs> yeah, like it's, it, we lived in the desert, so there were weird things out there, <laughs> and the. It was a, uh, I adopt or not adopted, but we bought a cockatiel. Please adopt. But sometimes if you're in a weird rural area, that's difficult. But, um, mm -hmm. so I got a cockatiel and I named her, uh, Icarus. And then, oh. uh, I realized she was a girl. And so I named her, renamed her Icky. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know why you would name a bird Icarus because I was just like a messed up kid. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to like die. <laughs> um, yeah, and she was a wonderful bird. She lived to be like 17, but the bird that my grandparents uh, got at the same time, I still have. Like, all my grandparents are dead, but I still have uh, Paco, who is a cockatiel, and he is over 20 years old, and I still have him to this day. So. Oh, my God. Yeah, how he's long, a little cockatiel. How long do birds typically live? Depends on the species. So, like, cockatiels, like little Paco, they can live to be, like, 30. Like, they can live a while. Oh, wow. And, like, big parrots, like macaws, can live to be, like, 80 years old. And pigeons can live to be, like, 15, depending on, like, like if they're in captivity or not. Mm-hmm. Damn. Macaw's going to probably outlive me. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of people, like, like when they buy them, like, or adopt them, like, even when they're young, they have to, like, make a will for their bird because they live so long. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, it's. I didn't know birds lived that long. It's kind of insane. Well, I guess it depends on the species or type yeah, of bird. Yeah, yeah. But um, that's cool. If we can show off all your bird pets uh, later, at, like towards the end, because I know you got <laughs> yeah. all your bird pets and mounts and yeah. Oh, everything. if there's a, it's the trash witch bird theme uh, wizard that's going on here. <laughs> that's my, that's my 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 jam. That's this character. <laughs> 
I have a dru everyone's probably like, why doesn't Holly play a druid? And I have a druid too. That's also a boomkin, and they're adorable, <laughs> and I love them. And their name their name is just Owl, because when they did that name purge, I was like, I'm gonna get the good names. <laughs> oh yeah. So I got my name. I got Holly for this character. It's just Holly, and then I got Owl, and I was like, I got the good names. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you need, Holly and Owl. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about just how you got into video games in general, because I think it's always interesting hearing how everybody just gets into video games for the ver like first time it's either usually something like oh, i got a nintendo or an atari or like how did you get into video games for the first time yeah mine is is interesting because my parents didn't really play video games but my grandparents did oh wow so my my uh my grandpa who was a disney animator gave me a hand-me-down computer a pc like an old, old PC, like a Packard <laughs> Bell, like kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, even actually, no, that was the second one I had. Before that, my my grandparents um, on my mom's side, my grandma and my step grandpa, they had a PC and I played DOS on it. I played this game called Treasure Mountain. Mm. So I was like literally like typing in DOS commands when I was like six years old. <laughs> so this like like super old computer. And then after that, um, they got a newer one, and that was when I played King's Quest. And so I played all of King's Quest and Quest for Glory and, and all those like really old um, RPGs, and I fell in love with those. And then I got the hand-me-down computer, and I played uh, Return to Krondor, <laughs> if you remember that game. I do not, but now I want to play no. it just because it sounds it's an like... RP and... It's an old RPG <laughs> based on a fantasy series, and like I, don't, I was like, I don't even know how old I was. I was like eight. I don't know. I was like, yeah, it was, I was, I don't know if I was old enough to be playing these games, but I was, I was <laughs> yeah. at the time. Uh, but yeah, so I played that and I, I loved that game. I rewrote it um, to be about animals <laughs> and I made the main character a bird, if anyone of cares course. about that. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've been, I, I had uh, an old hand-me-down Super Nintendo too, that every summer I would play with my granny and her, or not Super Nintendo, it was a NES. Hmm. And I would play in their motorhome. So every summer I would go to Las Vegas where they parked their trailer and I would play uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 with them every summer. <laughs> and then my granny would go gambling in the Las Vegas arcades mm -hmm. and she, or in the, in the Las Vegas like uh, hotels and she would drop me off at the arcades. Yeah. So she would like just go gamble and then she'd just be like, there's, there's Holly out in the arcades. <laughs> just... <laughs> Just uh, so I like played arcade games. I played the uh, the NES and PC games, and they would be playing like like Might and Magic and stuff, <laughs> like like not a great. Like oh my god, the Might and Magic. Oh, I got two hundred fifty fish! Yay! Yeah, nice. I w I am not a huge fisher in WoW. <laughs> yeah, That's but yeah. A good so way I, I had it. a yeah exactly. I had a weird. I had a weird growing up with games because I played PC first and then I didn't really have a console after a Sega Genesis. So until I got like an, like until I like met Ross and got an Xbox, <laughs> <laughs> I was just only playing PC games. Did you, uh, like, did your grandpa have a computer just because he was a Disney animator or like, did he use it for his job or was it just kind of a like, Hey, this is cool. I don't know. I, I probably he had it because he was like super into tech stuff, mm -hmm. and like he was my by blood grandpa, and then my step grandpa and my granny were the other ones that also liked games. So I kind of had these two sets of grandparents on the same side that liked games. So I kind of got it from both of them. Oh well, yeah, it's kind of weird to have like your grandparents into games. It's normal. Yeah, yeah. No, they were and they were they like loved them. Like I remember my my pappy was. He passed away recently, but he was uh, 80, he was like 83 years old. And we used to play Baldur's Gate together. And he was still playing Baldur's Gate until he went into a nursing home. Like oh, he wow. still loved playing Baldur's Gate. And like, I got him to play uh, Dragon Age and I got him to play, um, uh, oh, what was it? Pillars of Eternity. He was like so <laughs> stoked. And then, uh, yeah, before he got, you know, sick, because he was super old, he loves, mm -hmm. he still loved playing those games. So. They got me into all those, and I I loved them. I still love them to this day. That's so cool. Yeah, it's I think it's cool to see older people that are really into games too. Because when you think of older people, they're like ah, the goddamn video games. Yeah, <laughs> so and that that wasn't true at all. Like they they loved games. They played PC games. I bet you they were the only old people in that in that trailer park 
playing Might and Magic on their PC game and Oblivion. <laughs> I remember playing Oblivion with them too. Oh wow, <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, um, they were they were rad. They were really awesome. Uh, so when did you get into like Warcraft? Did you play Warcraft three and Warcraft two and all those then? So I remember in my in my seventh grade classroom, my teacher was super into Starcraft. Mm -hmm. So I remember <laughs> like playing Starcraft, but. I never got to play or finish any of the StarCraft or WarCraft, older WarCraft games. I, I, I wanted, like, I wasn't into it until it was, like, role-playing game. And I was like, all right, now I'm in. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it was, like, strategy. I was like, I'm not good at that. And as soon as it was like, you can run around as the character. That was when I it piqued my interest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so did you get into World of WarCraft uh, like right when it came out or did you wait a bit like some did somebody else get you into it no I, I got into it right when it came out the year it came out with my mom and my mom played games a lot because she was handicapped so playing games for her was like her her thing to do mm. so I've actually played with my mom on Alliance um, in a big raiding guild in vanilla and that's actually how I got started because <laughs> oh, wow. it was the it was the year I went to college so I kind of stayed in touch with my mom by and like my friends online by playing vanilla wow which was really not great because like the raids took like eight hours so I don't <laughs> yeah. know why I was doing that but I did it anyway <laughs> yeah it was like me I was in high school so I was like uh, it's like my first year of high school. So instead of actually trying in school, I was like, I just play WoW all day. This is great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, I was like, I'm paying for like college. Thankfully, I had scholarships, but like, I was just like, what am I doing? Like, I'm just, I would just go to my SCA meetings and then go home and play WoW. <laughs> like that, that tells you a lot about what I was like in college. <laughs> did you, uh, did you play any other RPG games before WoW, or like any games as addicting as WoW? I should say. Honestly, I was super addicted to um, Neverwinter Nights, like super addicted. Like I it was because they had an online version. So it was like, wow, before wow. Mm. So there were it was all online. You played on online servers and there were RP servers. So I would just go and like pretty much just play like RP D&D &D on these on these servers like that, uh, that were part of Neverwinter Nights. And you could make your own content. I like. I was super, super into that. It was a, it was a really fun game too, and I, uh, that was like my first, I guess, like exposure to online gaming, really. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I always saw Neverwinter Nights, but I never got to play it, and that's so I always kind of wondered what it was about and all because I heard it was an RPG and D and D esque type of thing, but I just never. Yeah, got into like it. the. It's like Baldur's Gate and or, uh, Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale and Planescape Torment, which those are all like my favorite games. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, it, it's more like it has a story mode, like you can play through the story and do all that, which is great because it was it was amazing. The story was really really good, but it also had like a tool set, like the Dragon Age tool set, if you've used that at yeah. all before they, before they like nixed it. Mm -hmm. But the tool set was way more powerful. Like you could reskin things, you could code things, you could like. You could make pretty much whatever you wanted if you were, if you cre if you were crafty enough. Like I made a costume shop, where I like made like capes and like like superhero outfits, and it was run by like a little method and stuff. Like <laughs> it was just it was just super super fun. Was it like um, would you have would somebody have to join your like instance of that? Like would you host a server and it's like costume shop or like how would they go about finding? Yeah. That? Yeah, like I, I never published my costume shop because I was not, I was not crafty enough. I made no, I it, and I was like, look, and then I was like, I don't know how to put it on the internet. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, people would. It was all um, individuals hosting the servers, no, I so see. it would be like, it would be like people would host it from themselves because it was like such, such a long time ago. <laughs> um, so playing WoW, like, and getting into it, did you level up with your mom as well then? She was, she had already, like, she, like, leveled up past me. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, yeah, she, like, leveled past me. <laughs> like, way, way past me. Um, so I was usually, like, behind her because she was just, like, so much. Because she had, I mean, she had more time in the day than me. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> she would always have, like, way better gear and stuff than me, which was hilarious. But I, I would always make the raids. So I, I had pretty decent gear. I had the whole, uh, the whole Felhart, uh, set with the spikes they was like the bright 
it was the bright warlock set with the yeah, spikes on the, the shoulder. Uh, yeah. Was that like the tier point five tier, or the tier one? Yeah, it was tier one. I, yeah, it was tier one. Point yeah. five is the one with the skulls. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. I and, actually uh, really like the tier one sets. I thought they were cool. Yeah, no, and I, I was like, it was like when it was cool, so like I had it, and I was like, I'm so cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm the cool, I might actually have the transmog with me. Do I? Because you can do that now. I'll oh, look. yeah. Yeah, um, I have the tier two on my priest, because I love the tier two priest one. Yeah. Yeah, and it was so funny. The the, <laughs> the funniest thing about the armor is I got all that. I was doing so good. And then, like, I, of course, was, like, in college, so, like, I couldn't totally keep up, but, like, mm -hmm. except for vanilla, like, I was, as soon as burning... Crusade came out. Um, I uh, I like stopped being able to um, play as much, and then my and and then after that my guild broke up and all that. But I did end up cosplaying for the second BlizzCon ever. Uh, my first ever suit of armor that I ever made was the Tier Five Undead Warlock, and the pictures are still online. <laughs> They're still there. I got the Tier Five Undead Warlock, and I, the people were like, "Do you have this in game?" And I was like, "No," <laughs> but I made it for the costume contest. <laughs> so that's that's a good laugh. Was the uh, second ever BlizzCon like? Was that what year would that be? It was two thousand seven. Oh wow! So that's. Uh, or six, like... 2006, I'm sorry, 2006. Oh, okay. Is that... Or 2007. Like, obviously, you know, BlizzCon's gigantic now, but, like, how many people were at that? It was, it was you know, it was, it was a lot. It was, it actually, it wasn't too much different than now, honestly. Oh, really? Like, it was, it was still in the same convention center, and they still had their crazy, like, dark lighting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, nothing like, I'm gonna turn into a bird. I'm a bird! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the, uh... Right, is that the Erico or is that the the uh, scr 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 It's the yeah, it's the Ar it's the Ar Aracoa. Ah, okay. I actually named one of my pigeons little Aracoa because he's got a long <laughs> beak. And every time I see him, I go up to him and I go, What are we without the sky? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's a deep cut. <laughs> uh so Actually, yeah, that Blizz... I actually really like BlizzCon's atmosphere, since you bring it up. Because I love oh God, just going vicious. around in the, the dark the dark lighting and, like, everything. I don't know. I like BlizzCon. Yeah, I do, too. And it's a good convention, because it's like you're all... Uh, I, like, I remember just, like, being so stoked to just, like, see those announcements and stuff like that. And, like, everyone was there for the same thing. And, like, I would meet guildmates and stuff. And it just... It was really, really fun. Yeah. And it's uh, it's only two days, which is actually kind of nice. Like a lot of these conventions go three days, and on the third day, you're kind of like, eh, I can go home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Also, like it's by Disneyland, so I mean, oh, you can yeah. also go to Disneyland. Yeah, that's what I think most people do. They just turn that third day into Disney Day, which is yeah, exactly. even better. <laughs> exactly. I think I actually hold on. Where's the one that I have? I'm sure everyone you've had on has this, but it's still fun. <laughs> I don't have the bear mount, but I have this guy. Oh yeah, the little uh, BlizzCon <laughs> <The> costume. <laughs> I love that yeah. one. They even made an NPC. I think in I know. Wrath of the Lich King was that guy. The the <laughs> coolest thing is they put so much work into this. Like his little eye pops out and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. I like, love it. The attention yeah. to detail. So much detail. <laughs> um. So did you have you played every WoW expansion, or did you, you know, not play as much in some of them? Like, which one's your favorite? Which is your least favorite? Yeah, it's funny because I, I, d I d have played all of them, uh, not necessarily leveled through all of them, <laughs> which is kind of cheating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but um, I, I feel like it's weird. Um, what is it? I kept saying Throne of Ball, and I'm like, that is not what that is called. It's <laughs> Throne of Cold Man. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> winter is coming. The, um, <laughs> Breath of the Lich King. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we just got, was like, what are all the ripoffs of this? <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah, I I didn't play that one as much, uh, because my that was like when my guild broke up, so I was really bummed. It's because we were a big raiding guild on on uh, Dark Spear, and like when they broke up, I was like, well, you know, I don't have really have a guild anymore, so I'm just gonna you know drift around, and it wasn't as fun when I drifted around. So yeah, that one wasn't great. Um, oh, which one was Cataclysm after that? Yeah, Cataclysm no. after that. Cataclysm after that. I I did play that one a little more. Um, 
And then I think the one, oh, Pandaria was after that one. Yeah, because yeah. then that was um, when Ross and I first started dating, we went came back and played WoW together. So I think that was during Kata and mm. during Pandar- and Pandaria. I think it was Kata. So like that was more fun because I had someone to play with. So I was like, oh, I'm playing with someone again. Yeah. I think, uh, I think a lot of World of Warcraft stems down to like who you're playing with and just the people around you. Because I mean, I loved Wrath of the Lich King, but it was because I played with a really fun guild then. And so yeah. all my memories are just tied into that. Yeah. Oh, totally. That's why I love vanilla so much. Like my guild was so cool and we all met up and did, um, and we had a guild meetup in San Diego. Just like we all just went to San Diego. It wasn't a convention. We just met up as our guild <laughs> and it was so rad. And it's, it's so funny cause I still keep in touch with some of them. And, uh, one of them's a big streamer now. And I'm just like, you're a big streamer now. I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so proud. It's a uh, Lobos. If you guys know Lobos. Oh He's, yeah. He, he used to be in my guild. Oh, wow, that's so cool. In, in Vanilla WoW. <laughs> <laughs> like 15 yeah. years ago. 15 years ago, yep. Yeah, is... so I was like, this is so good. This is so great. Sometimes I'll just think about that, and I was like, it's like 15 years this game has been a thing. I know. Thing. And, a, and the crazy thing is this area that we're in right now really hasn't changed that much. Yeah, it really hasn't. Like, it got a little bit of a facelift in the Cataclysm, but like nothing crazy. Nothing no. like Tanaris or something. No, like this mushroom I'm standing next to, like that, that's new. Like mm. this right here, like what is this thing? Like <laughs> that's a new mushroom. Definitely, yeah. but the other ones are the same. Yeah. And I, even the trees, you look at the trees in the background, they still got oh. some of those old yeah, tiny. They look, they look terrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, they, they are. Look... Those are some 2004 trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> It's kind of like finding like an archaeological object. Too. It's just <laughs> it like, is. whoa, I am looking back in time. <laughs> well, I think that's one of the reasons people are looking forward to the classic WoW servers, which I imagine you're going to play on. Yeah. Oh, I'm totally going to play on those. I, if anything, because it's just like, I just want to be like, I remember. You know, like, yeah. I just want to be like, <laughs> I remember all this. This is so much fun. I think it's, uh, I think it's going to come down to like three types of people. There's either people like that where it's like i remember you're like going down the nostalgia <laughs> yeah, yeah. road there's gonna be people who didn't play vanilla wow that are like i want to see what all this is about why everybody's like oh those were the days uh right and, and then like just people who really like vanilla wow that prefer it to the game that's out right now yeah which is interesting because <laughs> it was not a balanced game <laughs> no it was not uh, like i played my i was alliance first which I didn't want to be Alliance. My mom was Alliance, so I just joined because she was there. Mm. But I played Alliance first. I was a human warlock. And let me tell you, Undead Rogues, uh, mm. their Will of the Forsaken was a minute. Was like, or I was like, it was, no, I'm sorry. It was a 20. You know how it's like a minute cool? I think it's like a minute oh, cool yeah. down now. Mm -hmm. It was like a 10 second cool down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I couldn't fear them. I couldn't, like, I couldn't defend myself literally at all. And warlocks were so broken. <laughs> and it was just it was just sad like it was just it took me 10 times the amount of time it should have taken me to level up to 60. <laughs> uh i was actually gonna level a rogue in vanilla wow uh just because that's like one of the only classes i never really leveled in vanilla wow like everything else i kind of played around with but i never really leveled a rogue that much plus rogues are just fun back then because of you know stealthing around yeah. and ganking people and being douchey I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna enact my revenge and just be a rogue and kill everyone. Yeah. Just to get my revenge. It's great. It'll be per, and yeah. then you can show everybody kind of those experiences that you've lived 15 years ago. Right. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah. This is what I dealt with. I think. Uh, I have. A oh, hey, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I was just gonna say I think people like Vanilla WoW because it was a bit more of a role-playing game back then compared to now. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was, I think it was more like, I don't know. I think like having less to do made you more creative. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, wrong. I think like, uh, like that plus all the little details of like, I got to go buy arrows or I got to yes, get ammo yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And it's it, it just like, it kind of, yeah, it kind of like, it gave you a lot more to do in the sense that you had to like make friends. Yeah. You had to like 
go do things. You had to like, like, you know, your guild having like a fight, like if someone was getting ganked out somewhere, like your guild trying to get there was like a big deal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it took a long time. Like you better really be getting ganked or like, you know, to, for them to like stop, like, come and help you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's one of the things I want to go back and kind of see for myself again too. Cause I remember for example, doing lower black rock spire and it took oh, yeah. so long to do that because you had to do that for a Nixie attunement. Yep. And yep. so somebody, <laughs> yep. somebody would be like, oh, I got the uh, attunement. And you're like, well, we're only halfway done with the thing. And they're like, all right. And then they just leave. And you're like, all right, well, we oh. got to go find someone else. And someone else leaves and you need a whole thing. And then th repeat the cycle. Yeah. <laughs> I I still have some of those, like, items. I swear to God. I think I had, like, the hammer of, like, Zoldarak or something with oh, me for, yeah. like, years. <laughs> just like, an, if anyone needs it, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Yeah, I made a video where I just went through my vanilla WoW character's bank and just looked up all those old items. So I remember I got gingerbread cookies from that first ever yes. Christmas. <laughs> I was like, wow, oh these God. should be stale. Was, they're so stale. <laughs> they're so stale. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, so speaking of role-playing stuff, I wanted to ask you about your, your role-playing career. In general, yeah. I don't know what else to call it. A career of role playing. <laughs> um, so, like, how'd you get into role playing games and D and D and all that? Yeah, so so it's kind of like the same way that I got into. I, I was just talking with my hand over my face. I'm like, I need to talk <laughs> in the mic. Um, <laughs> yeah, so kind of the same way that I got into games. Um, you know, I played uh, I played Baldur's Gate first before I played D and D. Mm -hmm. So. I was playing Baldur's Gate and I was like, oh wait, th this is awesome. What is this? And I kind of found D&D through, through those RPGs. And um, I fell in love with Planescape early on because I loved the art and I loved the style of it. So I ended up just being obsessed with Planescape, which I still am. Mm -hmm. So I have all the old second edition books and things like that. But in high school, um, some friends of mine and I tried to start a uh, Dungeons and Dragons club. And uh, we had all the books, like we were ready to go. Like we wanted to start this club. And uh, the principal called my friend, who was the uh, the club president, into the office and asked them if they were actually going to be using real blood. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So if that tells you anything about where I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Will you be performing uh, yeah. any satanic rituals? There? Yeah. Yeah. They're just like, Satan? <laughs> like, yeah, it was, uh, it was real special. But um, I, I had a couple of games in high school. And then in college, I played. I played a lot in college. And... And still, like, a lot of the time, uh, I think most of the role-playing I did was online, to be honest. Like, hmm. those early years, I did a lot of it on Neverwinter Nights. And even WoW, like, I tried to go to the role-play servers, and I'd be like, this is too complicated, bye. <laughs> 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 like, this is too hard. <laughs> but, like, I, I enjoyed it, though. I, I really did enjoy enjoy it do, doing it. So then once I started playing D&D &D even more, I was like, oh, I can just, like, play D&D &D and just do that with friends which is better <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in real life um so with D, &D uh like did you dm back then or are you just kind of playing around or like do you take turns or what what did you do when you played D, &D? um i i did dm a couple times in college not well mind you <laughs> like it wasn't like one of them was like an x-men game it was real bad but um <laughs> Like I mostly just played in, in different games and uh, they also weren't great. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, uh, really the best game that I've been in um, is the one that I'm in now. And my DM is just so amazing because he writes the books. <laughs> so oh. <laughs> like, I'm like, you write the books. And he's like, he's just so good. Like I've never had a DM this good. I mean, it, it's his it's his job. So I guess yeah. it's it's like you have to be good. <laughs> yeah a literal professional it's <laughs> literally like his job he writes yeah. the books so it's like <laughs> yeah and I, I, it's, it's an amazing game and i love it so much and i'm my first time stream dming came up recently and i've been i've been doing my best i just want to make i want to make my dm for my other game chris proud i'm just like i just want to make you proud <laughs> you've taught me so much <laughs> it's uh it's one of those things i learned that's actually really difficult because uh, i dm for the first time in my like really dumb Dikea uh, role play. <laughs> nice. Uh, and it's just <coughs> an Ikea filled with uh, 
traps and death and all sorts of fun that's, stuff. I'm sorry, but that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so JP, I don't know if you know JP from the... Yes, yeah, Google. yeah, yeah. He is just like, Crendor, you want to do a really dumb <laughs> one-shot uh, one series? And I was like, you know I do. And so oh my God. <laughs> I just, I did that. And I learned how difficult it actually is to create a world and create all these characters and do everything and then like have people play through it and then you have to kind of improv on the fly once people start pl like messing around with it where you're like oh yeah i should put something here or like oh i gotta do something about that or like I oh yeah about that uh, so. that's like that's the thing i have learned streaming dm is like you have to be really fast about thinking of something to fill that space too, because you want it to continue to be interesting for people watching. What the, what the shit? Somebody's what farming on here? slimes. Yeah, I was like, what the? What's, what's, <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Level 45? I thought I was gonna have to gank someone. <laughs> well, uh, very non-fishing uh, ambience. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Jesus. It's whatever. Right at, I know, okay. Alright, okay, bye. All right, they're gone. Um, they're gone. Do continue. I don't even remember. I was so distracted. I thought we were getting attacked. I know. <laughs> I had my PTSD from getting ganked kicked in. I was like, uh oh. Well, I heard like giant footsteps in the background, and I thought it was like a fell reaver. And I'm like, I don't think oh, no, those yeah. are here. <laughs> Am I an outline? Oh, man. <laughs> that, that was fun. Yeah. I had, a, I had a fight here. I had my best. I think that's maybe why I think about. Uh, Fellwood so fondly is I had my best PvP fight here ever. <laughs> like back in Vanilla WoW, I had my like I had this like drop down like uh, like full on like total fight with this troll because I was Alliance again, mm -hmm. and I just remember just like fighting them to like the like for like probably like thirty minutes I fought <laughs> this guy like I was like fully geared I was like I'm gonna take this guy I was really bad at PvP I mean like bad so I was like. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna take this guy down. I'm so happy, and I think I I fell off a cliff. <laughs> oh <my laughs> I don't even think I beat him, <laughs> but it was a good fight. So, <laughs> I like how that's one of your most remembered memories. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a good fight. Like, it's not the it's not the journey, it's not the end. It's the journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, that's what we're talking about DMing. I forgot. Yeah, too. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh. So yeah, it's just have you. Have you found that you enjoy DMing more or that you enjoy actually playing more and being somebody that just gets to be put into a story as a character uh, as opposed yeah. to like creating the world and moving everyone around? I like both for different reasons, honestly. Like I love I love playing a character, but again, I'm so spoiled because Chris is such an amazing DM cuz he's mm. just so good at it and i've gotten to like play on stage with the acquisitions inc guys and like that's just been so much fun like it's i like yeah, i'm just like way spoiled as a player like i get mm -hmm. to be in costume like <laughs> i get to do all this cool stuff i'm just like this is the best thing ever so and then as a dm i'm like i have to get all my books out and make sure i'm doing the right math <laughs> so it's but i also i love seeing like I love seeing my players happy. Like I love that I love my players and I love seeing like how excited they get about like little twists in the story or like that they've been getting like fan art of their characters and like they're just they're so excited about it because like it's just something that they haven't done before. So that's something that I find like really, really cool that they can that it makes it's almost like giving them some shit something, which I really enjoy. Yeah. Cause I mean in the grand scheme it's almost like you're writing a book. Uh, like yeah. improv style, you know. Yeah, way. absolutely. And I, I love, I like, I, I write in my free time sometimes too. And it's, it's something I really, really love and enjoy. I love storytelling. So it's, I think that's, that's why it's almost more of like a creative outlet versus like an entertaining outlet when I'm playing Strix, my character on, on um, my other game, mm -hmm. because then I can just goof around and be a character for two hours. But when I'm DMing, I'm like, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to storytell versus like, just being it being an internet clown <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> did you uh are you like writing a novel or like fantasy or what are you writing yeah so i've i've been writing the same this is gonna be really sad <laughs> i've been writing the same fantasy book uh with uh my best friend from middle school uh, elementary school and we've been writing this book for a very long time 
And uh, I have told myself that this year and next year, I'm like, we're going to finish it. That's my goal. And it is a fantasy slash sci-fi book. And we've been, we've had the world built and everything for literally 20 years. So I'm oh like, look, <laughs> we have to write this. We've had this world for so long. We've had these characters for so long. And uh, I just got her on Twitter. I'm so happy. <laughs> I got my friend on Twitter. I'm like, yay. <laughs> so... So yeah, it's 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 something I really love to do, and I'd love to do like more in my career is is write and storytell. So I'm I'm excited to do that. Yeah, I started getting really into writing too, like a few years ago. It's one of those things where like growing up, I was like, I like writing stories, but they're just you know, yeah, <laughs> like kid stories or like just copies of other stuff. And then after you kind of consume a whole bunch of media yep. and all that, you're like, I like this aspect of the story or this type of thing. So you start just trying to craft your own version of that and it's a lot that's, harder than you think it is oh totally and that's like exact that's exactly what we did like the like when we wrote this book when we were like 11 or 12 and it was like 300 pages and the first 200 pages were just our, us self-inserting inserting <laughs> ourselves into harry potter mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but like there was a good story behind all of that and to this day it's still a good story and i'm like we're gonna get this published this is this is our goal <laughs> yeah it's uh and I think when you start reading more and more as well, you realize what's good writing and what's not good writing and all that. It's just kind of practice makes perfect. Oh, uh, absolutely. And I'm terrible at that because all I consumed for the past 10 years is fan fiction. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but that's okay. My friend is way more talented than me, and she's she's she reads way more than me. And I'm like, I read this. She's like, this is garbage. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like telling stories. <laughs> we we complement each other's skills very well. <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah, it's just I uh, even when I got to interview a few fishing episodes back, I interviewed Brandon Sanderson, who like nice. everyone was like, "How did you get him on your show?" I was like, "I don't know." <laughs> it's just like uh, he apparently was like someone on Co-optional, uh, like or the I was on the Co-optional podcast, and I suggested his books, and then. Apparently it got out that I did that and they're like, hey, Brandon says thanks. And I was like, hey, you want to come on my show? And he's like, sure. And I'm like, OK, cool. So it was just cool, like talking to a legit author uh, and kind of learning That's, from yeah. that. Uh, That's how it works. You yeah. just be like, hey, <laughs> like I played D&D &D with um, with Patrick, Patrick Rothfuss. Like, no, he's yeah. Played D&D &D with me and I'm like, you wrote that book that I read. It was good. <laughs> I'm like. Yay! But when I get when I see you, I'm always I'm almost like always in costume or dre or like being an internet clown. And I, like, at one point, I had to tell him I was like, I promise I own real clothes because <laughs> he only saw me in costume. <laughs> yeah, it's. I think um, one thing I've learned from even just doing YouTube and Twitch and all this is you you meet all these quote like famous people, uh, and then you realize they're just normal people, and yep. I think that's such a big like realization uh because so many people like go like super fanboy or fangirl and there's like oh, oh my totally. god this is like that person it's like you, you meet so many people in this type of industry that you're like oh yeah it's just you know that's them that's who they are yeah totally i have you ever fa fanned who have you fanned over i want to know <laughs> <laughs> oh um my uh my youtube career actually began because of that uh really back way back like 10 years ago i was a fan of uh this guy who was named rurikar and he made unforgotten realms which was like oh, his nice. little like animated show uh oh and i didn't God, know it was amazing. based I... off like an actual D, &D thing either because i was like that's so younger <laughs> and i ended up joining his wow guild and then i was like wow this is so cool i'm playing with this guy and now i'm like really good friends with him and he kind of like <laughs> motivated me to like keep doing youtube and stuff like that and it was just it worked out so it's like wow that was really good luck that's so rad <laughs> I, I love that so it's like i fan over like like not weird people but like i i got to meet the planescape artist um uh deter lizzie mm -hmm. i got to meet him at gen con one year and i was just like oh my god like you're my hero, but I'm not gonna be weird. <laughs> like, and like he's he's like an artist I've been following for like like all my art 
he inspired like so much of my career, including like loving D and D and all this stuff. And I have a tattoo that's like kind of based off his art. And I was like, Oh my God, I'm that person. Oh my God. <laughs> like, I was just like, Oh God, this is going to be so bad. But he was like the sweetest guy. Like he like likes my tweets sometimes. And like, he was so kind to me and I bought like an original piece of his and I have it and cherish it. And I'm just like, Oh my God, <laughs> that you... was my biggest fan moment. Did you tell him like, Oh, I got your tattoo right away. Or do you hide that? for a while yeah, i i hit it for a little bit <laughs> and then i was like yeah I'm like uh, this is kind of based on too and he was like oh that's so cool i was like oh thank god <laughs> but it's, it's like, funny because i recently had someone get a tattoo of my art and it was rad and i was like wait that feeling it's okay it was amazing <laughs> never mind i shouldn't have been scared <laughs> yeah i think it's just people appreciate when they enjoy like something so much that you would go to that level to be like look how much i enjoy your thing you do yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. And like, that's always a good feeling, I think. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's one of the reasons I still enjoy doing YouTube a lot of the times is if you put a lot of effort into like editing a video and writing a video and doing all this stuff and putting it out and it feels a little more gratifying uh, from an art aspect versus like, totally. hey, I'm streaming today and I'm playing League of Legends again. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, I feel that too. It, that like curated YouTube content that's really like written and thought out is is more way more artistic. It's mm. it's like because you're putting together an edited, you're putting together a show for someone. It's not just you know, I mean though I have seen some streams that are that are incredible and they also mm. put on a show. But it's, yeah, it's a different kind of art. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I agree with that. Uh, it's uh, especially now when there's a lot of different platforms for anybody who is getting into anything artistic at all like drawing and crafting and cosplay like you can just stream yourself doing that like it doesn't oh, even totally. have to be anything like a show like it just be you in your office in your pajamas doing that yeah yeah one of my <laughs> friends uh blue jay she does coloring sometimes and i'm like that is so smart i just want to sit there and color <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome <laughs> Yeah, well, it's something where, like, you can do that along with them, or you can just watch, and it's kind of ASMR-esque, yeah. if you will. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> have you, uh, have you ever gotten into ASMR? No, I don't get it. I don't feel it. I'm one oh, of those really? people that doesn't feel it. Yeah, like, Ross feels it, and my friend feels it, and I'm like, I don't, it's like how I could never see those, like, magic eye puzzles. Like, I'm <laughs> oh, broken. Yeah. Like, something's wrong. <laughs> I couldn't see like so, my eye. I'm broke. Like nothing. I can't see those, and I don't feel ASMR. I'm just dead inside. <laughs> well, ASMR is always uh, kind of a weird thing for me too because I get so into it. But part of it's not even feeling like tingles or what people say. It's just it helps me focus. So a lot of times if I'm editing or writing or anything like that, I'll put on something. It just helps me focus. Like it doesn't even have to be like oh hello and like nail tapping and stuff. It can be just somebody lightly talking or a gameplay video or something but yeah that makes sense because it's just like it's like I, I put on rain noises to help me concentrate yeah well i mean that's kind of like a form of asmr yeah so, yeah I, I i can see it yeah say so uh i would always do rain noises to help me fall asleep at night i thought yeah it was that's really the relaxing. best especially uh, since i live in la and it never rains I'm like, oh my God. rain noises I know. That's one of the reasons I never wanted to move to L.A. ever. I was just like, I love the changing seasons a lot. Yeah, that's smart. Don't. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, and... I like trees, and I just go outside, and I'm like, mmm, smells like batteries. <laughs> yeah. I always said L.A. smells like pollution and weed, and it always does. It's, it's, it's I was born here. I've, gr I've grown up here, and every time I leave and get off the plane, it smells like batteries. That's so weird. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I'm sure it's cut like 20 years off my life. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. So I think that'd be a good time to start showing off all your oh, yeah. your toys and bird pets and bird th <laughs> anything. Oh my you've bird got. pets! <laughs> I've got so many bird pets, <laughs> and so many kind guildmates have always have given me adorable other bird pets. <laughs> it's just. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Uh, which one should I show first? Oh my god, yeah, this one. Neil Wingstrong. <laughs> oh my god, rocket the rocket chicken. <laughs> the rocket chicken. I love it. Yeah, 
Uh, oh yeah, this one. Uh, snaky bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, little dragon guy. Yeah, he's a he's one for getting exalted with the Arakoa. Uh, he's oh. pretty cute. Uh, <laughs> this guy is really good in pet fighting, which I didn't even talk about, but I am so into pet battling. Like I have so many. Like <laughs> that was my thing. Like I just wanted to pet battle everyone. I was in. I was like really into it. Were you in the and, Pokemon uh, a lot too then? I no, met... I didn't oh, play really? Pokemon growing up. I didn't play Pokemon until I was an adult, and then I got into it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I again, I just played PC games because I was, like, sad, or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love the Raven. I love the new model of the Raven. It's really good. Yeah, that's a really nice Raven. Yeah, he's a good one. Uh, those are pretty powerful, or used to be. I don't know what the new the new hotness for pet battling is right now. Oh, and here's this is my cat, Orpheus. He's also a witch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, and this guy, if you get on your mount and fly, he, like, flies on a little broom. I don't know if you can oh, see him. Oh, does he? Hold on. I guess. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> oh, my God. He's so cute. <laughs> Where'd you get that at? Uh, oh, he was from Halloween, like, a long time ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was a Halloween pet. Um, I probably have so many things that are, like, so weird and old that, like, I don't even think they are. This guy named Pizza Roll. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> This reminds uh, me of uh, when Ross was on. He had like that thing from Cataclysm, the like prophet. Oh, yeah. It was like stuck on him. <laughs> he just never got <laughs> rid of right. it. That's right. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. There's another Halloween kitty. I love the kitties too. I know that that pro that thing that was stuck on him for a long time was so funny. It was so <laughs> <Yeah>. broken. <laughs> I'm glad that was captured. For yeah, the I masses. know. <laughs> oh, mean, mean burb. burb. <laughs> this one's cold burb. <laughs> Let's get real creative here. Are you, uh, uh are you like, or er, scoots? Scoots. Have you collected like every bird there is, or are you missing some birds? Still? I don't know. I might be miss. I think I do almost have all of the pets. I've, I've like really worked hard, uh, on getting most of them. Oh, this guy's, where's this guy? He's like a little, oh, yeah. Oh, he's yeah. So cute. He's like a little, uh, stork or something. Yeah, he's like a little stork. <laughs> I'm just going down and looking at all my little, all the birds. <laughs> uh, gold. Oh, yeah, the golden eaglet. Yeah, I did. I've been trying to do all the pet achievements, so I have most of them. I think I'm missing a couple. I do have the rarest bird, though, which one of my guildmates gave me, which was very sweet, which is um, the hyacinth macaw. Um, Ooh, wow. Which I'll find here in a second. Let's say, oh, my God, I have so, this is, I have, I have, <laughs> I have too many. There's too many. I like Jungle Beak. He's one of my favorites so far. Yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> I need a name for him. <laughs> Not just Jungle Beak. I know, but then my names are stupid like Pizza Roll. <laughs> and the reason the reason I stopped naming them too is because you could see the names in pet battles and people mm -hmm. would just give up. They'd see the same names and they'd be like, nah, I'm not fighting her. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wanted to just fight. <laughs> oh yeah, this guy was from the little stuffed animal. He's cute. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's cute. He's like the uh, the mount you can get too, just a baby version. The griffin. Exactly, yeah, yeah. He's, he's super cute. I love the griffin mounts. Mm -hmm. Just have a seagull, just a regular ass <laughs> oh, seagull. Yeah. There's a lot of seagulls in a. This one, this one makes me sad because it's just a Szechuan chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's just, he's just the chicken without the rockets or the robotics. Yeah. Oh, one of my favorite pets you could ever get was uh, in Westfall when you clucked at the chicken. Oh, yeah, Eventually that's right. Eventually gave you a pet. <clears throat> they just make a macro so and keep clucking until you get yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's another robo chicken. Oh, yeah. Oh, and here's the best one that I have. Oh, my God, the chicken <laughs> map. <laughs> yeah, this get this this was an anniversary present from Ross to me is the chicken mount. <laughs> of course. That's probably better than most anniversary presents people It really ever was. <laughs> oh, here was one of my first pets. Cedric from King's Quest. <laughs> Man, I always like is... the uh, the owls. I always like owls in general. Owls are cool. Polly. Yeah, I love owls. I love owls so much. Like here in the wintertime, which is like uh, Chicago, which we don't normally get owls, but like every like once in a while, you just hear like two owls and it'd be like, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh Ooh. yeah, and then like hear one answer back at like three a.m. in the snow. It was just a really cool thing. Yeah, those are great horned owls, the ones that do that answer each other. Mm-hmm. This is the one from Westfall, the Ancona chicken. I think 
Oh, I named wow. him Death. I named him Deathbeak. <laughs> Deathbeak. I keep Where just zooming I... in on all of them. Oh, good. That's good. <laughs> I feel like I know later I'm gonna be like, I missed one. I just have so many. <laughs> And like people have given them to me too, because they know I love birds. So it's been, it's yeah. been, which is wonderful, because it makes me so happy. Yeah, yeah. This is a pretty owl. Brilliant. Oh yeah, that's the uh, clary from TBC. Oh my god, TBC. I love this one. Woo, this one. Bush chicken. <laughs> the bush chicken. What is he even? <laughs> he's got like, he's kind of like those rubber chickens if they were like not rubber. He's got the really long. I, neck. I know. <laughs> oh, and here's. Oh, this is sad. This was icky. I named it literally in like 2004. Oh for my, my god! Little pocket, or whenever you could name them, it was probably after that. Yeah. It's named after my little bird. <laughs> and another owl. All right, let's see if I can find the hyacinth macaw. Oh my god! If anyone gets this, this isn't a bird, but I named this guy after a thing in Planescape Torment. Mort. Mort. There's a little floating skull in Planescape Torment. <laughs> oh, Griffin Hatchling. Same one, but not the one from the Kiari Hatchling. Mm. God, I again, there are too many here. Where's my hyacinth? <laughs> oh, wait, this one's super cute. Lovebird Hatchling. Oh, yeah. That's like okay. a flamingo plane strider. Yeah, and this is apparently <laughs> the rarest the rarest bird, is this hyacinth macaw right here. How do you get it? Or how did it's you? It's a drop. I'm pretty sure it's a drop. It's a really rare drop from the pirates in... Near Booty Bay. Oh, I see. I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. Um, yeah, it was given to me because I was. I can't, I, I'm terrible at <laughs> patience, but it was very sweet. So now I, I cherish my hyacinth macaw. So. Yeah. That's a uh, that's a really cool pattern of feathers. I like the purple. I like that purple a lot. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty. I don't have a name for him either. You name for him. I'm kind yeah, of there's... curious of like how many people own that. Yeah, I don't know, because it, it was just, like, such a rare pet. I'm not sure. Somebody in the comments will be like, oh, I sure. have that. No, I know. They'll be like, it's not rare. And I'll be like, it's rare to me. <laughs> Someone just lied to me. <laughs> there, there's a pygmy owl. He's tiny. <laughs> oh, my God. He's so I love small. his eyebrows. Oh, yeah, this, is a, this was another one from Booty Bay back in the day. Senegal. God, I have like seven sinister squashlings. Why? Why do I have seven of those? <laughs> oh, a stormwind rat. <laughs> the stormwind rat. Oh, that's right. You're gonna tell the uh, the story about the rat mount. You're gonna. Oh get... yeah. No, I want. Oh yeah. That, so I wanted that rat mount really bad because I wanted my character in D and D Strix, which this character I dressed a kind of as. Mm -hmm. She has like she likes rats and like weird, gross things and chickens, so it fits. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get the rat mount, and I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get this rat mount, and I found because it's underneath the uh, underneath Dal Dalaran. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, there's like a bug where if I keep talking to this person and then like running out and running back in, they'll give me more of those sightless eyes. Mm -hmm. So I just kept doing it. And it was it was obviously a bug. So other people were doing it, too. But I didn't do it enough because apparently I just had no patience. I don't know. <laughs> and yeah. then I never got a, I never got. I never got my rat mount, <laughs> but that's OK. I, I'm terrible at PVP, so I, I didn't earn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought. uh was that like right when the expansion launched too, or right when that hit? It was, yeah. And so it was just like it was just it was just murder. It was terrible. And yeah. I had a bunch of PVE gear, and I was like, I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, I remember that because I remember they they fixed everything, and I was like, man, I should have did that to get the rat mount. Cause now I want a rat mount. So yeah. I remember so many people doing that. Yeah, I know. It's so it's such a cute mount too. Mm-hmm. Maybe well, it'll okay. be easy uh, at the end. Maybe somebody at the end of it, the expansion will just like form a giant party and go down there and just get it somehow. I don't know how to get it. I'm not yeah. good at it either. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it, just wasn't, it wasn't meant to be. Yeah. That's okay. I do have the chicken and then I have my, my uh, this guy from doing all of those. I don't even remember. Shard quest. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's this a cool matches. Map. Yeah, he matches my aesthetic of and of my Talon Queen. <laughs> yeah, he's got the fell fire coming out of him. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I didn't collect like barely any mounts. I like that was something I was just. I barely got. Mm -hmm. I have that one which I worked really hard for, and then I don't even think. Of course, I have my fell steed from like back in the day. Yeah. And I got like a random wolf once. Oh, I did get this one. I do like this. I I got um. 
exalted to get this guy. Oh, nope, not that one. That's a pig. <laughs> that is a pig. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pig. This guy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a again. Cool map. Bird. That's a. Uh, <laughs> I don't even think I've seen anyone on that. Really? Yeah. Maybe That's I'm just so not funny. cultured enough, though. <laughs> no, there's... Oh, this is the one I like because it's purple. That's a way cooler one. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Yeah, I really like the... I really liked the crane. Just because... Look how tiny its little feet are. Those are some tiny feet. <laughs> Those are some tiny... Oh, wait. I got to show you this really quick. This is the best. Get ready. I'm ready. Oh, I'm so small. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> now its feet are even tinier. <laughs> and I feel like the, Mur the Murloc makes. It. I know the Murloc <laughs> makes every mount's feet, or it makes every mount way tinier. So I'm just like, oh, I got tiny feet. <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't even know the Murloc uh, can do that. Can Somebody, ride. Yeah, I didn't know he could like ride all these mounts and stuff. Yeah, it has a different dance too. It has its own. It has it like its own dance. It does. I think the ogre dance. Oh, yeah, that is the ogre dance. Oh, yeah. wait. Maybe it isn't the ogre dance. Because the ogre does the, like... Uh, oh, no, it's no, it's not the ogre dance. I can't remember who's dancing. It might just be its own unique dance. I don't think anyone does that. But, again, yeah. somebody in the comments will be like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I say someone does it. Like, Calm down. It's okay. Look, I, I have Alzheimer's, okay? <laughs> like, I forgot how to check my friends list. It'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, you know, when you get to be, you know, over 30, close to 30, you just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's the Alzheimer's starts You're kicking dead. in. You're pretty much dead. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I got my gallbladder out. I don't even have my organs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Um, well, all right. I think uh, we're approaching an hour, so I think uh, I think we've covered everything unless there's another mount or bird you've forgotten no i mean i'm sure i've forgotten some but those i think that was all the ones that i again i i don't have that much fancy stuff like mm -hmm. i know ross has like way more fancy stuff than me when he was on he was just like look at this look at this like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like i may have a funny toy let me check my toys really quick there might be a fun a fun thing in there all right hmm let's see i actually really love how they put all the toys and stuff in I know because it was so it was so hard to get them when they were just like like just in your stuff mm -hmm. no I had my bird changer thingy oh I have a fell fire camp site there you go <laughs> we oh uh, yeah oh boy oh boy well, that's cool I like I like green and I like fires so no me too that's my <laughs> my D&D &D character has green fire so I'm like yay <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, I don't even. There's like nothing super fancy. I can't. There's no way I can impress with my toys. <laughs> All right. Only my only my amount of birds. <laughs> <laughs> I I think everyone will be impressed with your amount of birds. It's good. It's good. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, where can people find you on the internet? Obviously, the Twitter. I'll put your Twitter link down below. But where else? Yeah, my Twitter is just at Holly Conrad, and everywhere else I'm at Commander Holly. So Instagram and YouTube is Commander Holly, and Twitch is Commander Holly. And uh, but every Tuesday from four to six Pacific time, I play D and D on the official D and D channel uh, at twitch.tv slash D and D. So you can watch me there, or you can watch me also on the D and D channel on uh, Thursdays from I think it's like. Oh, from five to seven. That's right. I had to use my math. <laughs> the Alzheimer's. And I, yeah, yeah, it's the Alzheimer's. <laughs> and I play, I DM a game, a Planescape game uh, there. So both are great. Um, and I post things on YouTube and Twitch and do all that. So just come, come hang out. If you like birds and you like weird, creepy magic stuff, that's me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for joining me. I thought it was fun. Yeah. I learned a lot about birds. <laughs> Sweet. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Yeah, um, and yeah, I'm really bad at ending these, even though I've made like 40 of them at this point. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Okay, bye. See you later. Okay, Have see a nice you day. later. Drink some, drink some water. Take care of yourselves. Give yourself get hydrated. A get hydrated. Don't get Alzheimer's. Don't be that tainted <laughs> rat that just ran by us. He's drowning. <laughs> <laughs> Slow you up.